Hello, if you have a Comcast Xfinity R15 remote, their newest one, this is what it looks like. And it's extremely difficult trying to find somebody who can tell you how to change the batteries on it. When you look at your remote, you have the top third with this line going across it, and then you have the bottom two thirds. And that little line goes across the side and goes across the back. So you would think that this top third is where you put the batteries in. Since there's no tab or groove or opening. So I was pushing, 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 pushing. Didn't do nothing. We tried to pull the top third off because when we called into tech support, that's what they told us to do. Don't do it. You're going to give yourself a heart attack or a stroke. It doesn't come apart, and it shouldn't come apart. So, again, here's the front. Here's the back. They said it's supposed to be really easy to just push it off, and it's just like every other remote. Well, that's not exactly true. What you need to do is you take the remote, you flip the back upside down, and then... You have your little dots, you have this little line, and you have these two dots. Where it looks like this part's coming off, the bottom third, now, above it is the groove. Take your finger and push on that groove, and voila, magic. It unsnaps, it comes apart, you can take it off, and that's where you change the batteries. I was so happy to see that after a few days of trying to figure this sucker out. So you change the batteries, which I can't do right this minute. I have to go buy some. But we all know how to change these batteries. It's real simple. You take the old ones out, put them in the trash, put the new ones in. Then you put your panel back on. You slide it down till it snaps nice and tight. And your back piece is on, you flip it over, and it's upside down again. And here we are. We're back at our Comcast Xfinity R15 remote. Your light will light up, and everything will happen and work just like it should because your power won't be dead anymore from needing new batteries. <laughs> okay, I hope this say I hope this. Help save a lot of people a lot of grief and time and aggravation. Uh, props to the tech because he did tell me that I should just be able to gently push on a groove and open it. And I thought, well, the only thing I see on the back of this sucker that looks like a groove is this little piece. And I'm pushing, 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 pushing. And I'm like, nope, that ain't working. And again, I flip it. I push it, and oh my god, it comes off ever so easily and nicely. Once you know how to do it, it's easy. Before you do, oh my god. And like I said, they'll tell you, just pull that top third off. Don't try to do that. Thank god we didn't rip the remote apart. Then we would have really been in trouble. So, good luck to everybody who has this. It isn't hard. It's a shame there's not any directions on the manual. Maybe they'll add a picture and some uh, physical directions but that's why i made this video i want to help somebody out there who has to replace the batteries and like me has no clue what to do all right everybody have a great day take care bye bye